All right, guys, it's Dave with the Overpack channel. Today we're unpacked just after a uh, quick two night camping trip, winter camping trip with my daughter. I roughed in this platform as the beginning of the sleeping and storage platform for the new Land Cruiser and made room for our new 12 volt drawer fridge. So wanted to give you a quick look at how the drawer fridge operated. Uh, it's a little less common option in these overlanding uh, vehicle camping setups. It has a little less space and I'm gonna show you how that worked out. Also got the Renogy One M1 controller in here that we'll take a look at and uh, I'll show you how it did on the trip. All right guys, let's take a closer look at the fridge here. This was provided to me by a company on Amazon. Uh, EDH Bay makes this 12 volt drawer fridge. I wanted to try out a drawer style fridge in a platform build like this to keep the overall height of the storage system low so I can use this as a cargo and or sleeping platform without having a tall fridge in the way on a slide. Um, I've got a 45 quart uh, more typical chest style 12 volt fridge that I used in my truck build and it's a great fridge and it had a ton of room. I always felt like I maybe was just, you know, a little too much room, honestly, for a two or three night trip. Maybe if I was gonna go four or five nights without a uh, resupply, then I might need that. And I haven't found that to be the case in my, in my normal trips. So I wanted to try out something smaller that would fit in here. And thankfully EDH Bay sent this one out and I took it on a trip just this weekend for a couple of nights and I figured I'd show you a few things. I we're gonna talk about power consumption, uh, mainly capacity and uh, fit and function, and uh, a little more detail. All right, so let's open it up and take a look inside. This is pretty amazing to me. I've got this not full, and I've got enough. That a lot of this came back with us on our camping trip. Some of it I, I went and added from our fridge just to uh, show what can be put in here. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about is height. So you can see here as the drawer closes, you've got a height restriction on the items that you're gonna sit upright in the fridge. This is no problem for most items that I wanted to carry in the fridge. There are a few things that would not fit properly and I'll show you that. But for example, you got plenty of room for your 12 ounce standard soda and beer cans. Also for your tall, skinny uh, 12 ounce cans like that Mick Ultra or a Truly. Um, also for your standard 16 ounce pint beer cans or, or similar. Uh, obviously your standard condiment containers fit just, just well. Here's a uh, pickle jar, fits just fine with a little room to spare. Here's something that does not fit. I've got a Cholula hot sauce bottle and uh, this is pretty typical hot sauce bottle size and that's not gonna fit height wise through there. So that's either gonna have to lay down or be kept at an angle maybe in your storage. Another thing that does not fit is your standard grocery or gas station water bottle. They're a little too tall. Obviously a bottled beer uh, is very tall and uh, let's not take glass out camping anyway. So that's worked out fine for me. A few other things in capacity here. Got a couple of these, I decided on going with, uh, I like these little six count egg cartons for taking camping, especially if we're just doing a couple of nights, that's plenty. I have two of them in here, and I don't know if you can see how this is fitting here, but it does not quite fit in this divided space, just barely. And then as I close it, you'll, oh, there's a hot sauce bottle, you'll see that it just clears. So that's a stack of 12 eggs, fits just fine in this very, very small space right here at the front. Uh, normally, I might rotate drinks in as I pulled them out to save space and to only keep the ones cool that you need. Uh, I've got some deli meat, sliced cheese, I've got a yogurt here, one of these big Chobani flip yogurts that takes up a lot of space, a giant bucket of salsa, I've got two sticks of butter, a little can of biscuits is in here. I think I bought these very, very small cans. Uh, it was the first time loading up the fridge and I was not sure how these things would fit. A normal sort of five or eight biscuit can would fit fine in this, I believe. And I still have tons of space free here. So the capacity issue, uh, I just don't think is an issue. 
uh, you know, they're gonna have a lot of dry goods that are just not in the fridge. So I have a ton of, you know, bin full of bread and uh, other, other dry goods, you know, canned soups and pastas, mac and cheese, things like that that we take on a normal trip. Uh, but you would probably have some more meats in here. We've emptied some of that out. So maybe some bacon or some hot dogs, hamburgers, things like that. They're gonna fit just fine. You've got a lot of space in here. It's deceptive how much room there is. And we were really, really pleased with that. All right, now let's do a size comparison. I had to dust off my uh, old fridge here, the 12 volt Alpacool. This has been a fantastic fridge. Definitely recommend these guys, great customer service. This is a really good product. This is the 45 quart with the LG compressor. Uh, nothing bad to say about this fridge. It just ends up being large. You can see just sitting next to the platform here why this would be a challenge. Uh, we are already out of headspace with a platform as tall as this is and sleeping in here, which is what I wanted to try to do on this build. So this kind of fridge just wasn't gonna work. And you can see how great and compact the EDH Bay drawer fridge is in comparison. And it just really has plenty of capacity, even for its small size, for at least a two night trip, easily a three night trip. And you could probably even stretch it further by rotating drinks and doing things like that. Uh, keeping an eye on things and for me personally, I'm gonna hit a resupply in that amount of time All right, I've brought you in here on my new Renogy one m1 controller and display uh, To keep an eye on how the system was doing powering the battery. So I've got a hundred amp hour Lithium Renogy battery in the back here running the Renogy one m1 and the fridge So we don't we're not running anything else. No lights. No anything else like that and you can see right now the compressor is running on the fridge. Keep in mind that the Renogy is also being powered by the battery and the total current draw is 2.6 amps. Now that compressor is gonna kick off here in a minute and at least on this trip, it ran surprisingly few times. When it runs, it does run for a while. I have not timed it, but I would say, you know, it's a good 10, 15 minutes of run time on the compressor at about this draw, but then it will stay off for a really long time. Now, this is a winter trip. It's about uh, 55 degrees, maybe 52 degrees outside right now. And overnight on our trips, it dipped below freezing. Now it was inside the car. Uh, we did not heat the inside of the car. So the total temperature may have been getting down to the fridge temperature. So keep that in mind from uh, a, an efficiency standpoint. I'll do another follow up when we have some warmer weather later in the spring and see if this still holds. But it does run, run uh, remarkably few cycles uh, and it's also really quiet. I don't know if you can hear the compressor noise. Uh, I slept right here, right on top of this and I heard it kick on a couple of times. I would say it would not wake me up if it kicked on unless I happen to be awake when I heard it, which is definitely one of the things I was worried about. So on a 100 amp hour battery, we've got 75%, 74% left. Call it an easy 25% and call it 48 hours, right? So that's roughly half an amp hour, which is pretty great. Uh, and you could run this fridge for a full week, almost five, six days, no problem on a hundred amp hour battery. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my review for the EDH Bay 12 volt drawer fridge. Check them out on Amazon. There's a link below in the description. Let me know what you think drawer fridge or chest style fridge. Do you like this build? Do you like the platform? Do you want to see more of this? Comment below, subscribe, like the video. I appreciate it.